What's going on guys, it's Jho bringing you a brand new video and today we finally hit light level 320. So with challenge mode out for several weeks now, we finally got to the max light level in the Taken King of 320. And it was a long grind, but with the King's Fall challenges guaranteeing you 320 items upon completion of the challenges, it definitely sped up the process. So with this week's Oryx challenge mode, I finally got the last piece of gear I needed to get one of my characters to 320 light and it was my hunter so I ended up getting my hunter to 321st out of all three of my characters and I'm gonna show you guys my character update for my max light level hunter so let's get into it so let's get into my max light level hunter so here we go here's my 320 hunter and I finally got to that max light level of 320 right there and let's get into my weapons. So my weapons, I have a few 320 primaries. Um, I have a Touch of Malice at 320. We have a Harold Smite of Moraine at 320. Reflection Sum 320. Hawksaw, which I infused up to 320 as well. Um, I infused some of these up to 320. I got this one from Trials, I believe, 320. Um, I think I got this from Trials, or maybe I infused it up. But this one, I think I got this from Oryx before Challenge Mode even came out. So I got really lucky and I got a 320 primary from Oryx before Challenge Mode was even a thing. So that was really lucky. But on the very first time that Oryx Challenge came around, which was three weeks ago, I ended up getting all primary weapons for my guaranteed 320 drops. I got zero helmets. And that, that's what was holding me back from getting an overall light level of 320. So I ended up infusing it into a bunch of different stuff. And uh, I was just using it for a lot of my weapons instead. So that's why I got a lot of 320 weapons right now in my primaries. For my specials, um, this one, these, I pretty much have like three 320 weapons in my specials as well. Um, all of it was used from the drops I got at the War Priest Challenge. So I ended up infusing all my 320 specials that I got from that into some of my most used weapons like Black Spindle, the uh, Raid Sniper, my Thousand Yard Stair, stuff like that. So I have a few uh, 320s there. From my heavies, I actually got really lucky on this one. I got Harold Quillum's Terminus. And uh, I got this one before War Priest Challenge Mode came around, before Challenge Mode came around, period. So I was really lucky there, and I got this before Challenge Mode. And then I got some more 320 drops, of course, from Challenge Mode. And I used that for, like, my Truth and stuff like that, and some other weapons on my other characters. So pretty good stuff there. And then, of course, we got the 320 Ghost Shell, which is one of the hardest things to get. Uh, this one, if you guys saw on one of my previous uh, challenge mode videos a couple weeks ago, I got this from the Oryx challenge, the first time Oryx challenge came around. I got really lucky and got a Kingslayer shell at 320 from Oryx during the challenge mode, which was very, very lucky. It also came with Intellect Discipline, which was super, super lucky. And uh, yeah, so I got really lucky on this Ghost Shell. I know a lot of people are struggling with ghost shells and that's the thing holding them back from 320 so this one is one of the hardest pieces to get even though I got really lucky in, in getting it I know how hard it is to get a ghost shell and then for your armor armor is definitely harder to get than the weapons um, just because war priest drops weapons for challenge mode uh, Oryx drops primaries I feel like he drops primaries more than he drops helmets that's that's been my luck but um, yeah, that's what it seems like to me. But for the helmet, I finally got a 320 helmet. That was the last piece of gear I needed to get the 320. I got the raid helmet for my hunter, and it came in with intellect discipline as well, which was really cool. I also could not get a helmet in SRL. I know 320 helmets were able to be gotten from SRL, and I tried grinding SRL. I enjoyed SRL a lot. I loved I love racing. I loved the event overall and I enjoyed grinding for a 320 helmet, but I could not get a 320 helmet for the life of me. So I just kept getting 319s. I got 315s. I got a bunch of different um valued helmets, but I could never get a 320 and that's what was holding me back as well. 
So I finally got one in the Oryx Challenge mode to complete my character. And then, of course, we got 320 Gauntlets from Golgoroth um, the last time. I got 320 Boots the previous time Golgoroth came around. So these two are from Golgoroth. And then um, I took one of my 320 chess pieces from my other character and infused it into this because I um, couldn't get a chess piece. Or I, I these two were my... Golgoroth has only been around twice, I believe. So these were my two Golgoroth drops from the last two times he was a challenge. And then the third one I took from another character and infused it into this. And that's how I got 320 for my chess piece. And then for my... Uh, Class item, I was able to get this really early on before challenge mode came out. I was really lucky from the daughters of the daughters part. And I got really lucky and got a 320 cloak. And I also got a 320 class item from SRL as well. That was the only 320 I ended up getting from a Sparrow Racing. So I actually put that into my Warlock instead since I already had a 320 on my Hunter. So that was really good. And then lastly, of course, we got the artifact, which drops every time you play challenge mode. So I got a bunch of 320s around. Um, I just infused it into different different pieces of gear. And yeah, so that's my 320 character. It's been a long grind, but it's not really something important that everyone needs to do in the Taken King. It's not that important like it was in year one to get to the max light level, uh, just because... You don't need to be 320 to do activities like Iron Banner or Trials of Osiris. Um, even the raid, you don't need to be 320. But being around 315, I'd say, is probably the best if you want to be comfortable doing King's Fall on hard mode. But other than that, you don't really need to be at the max light level for any activity in the game right now. It's just something of just accomplishment pride I guess and just completion overall so I'm really happy you finally got there just because I've been working toward this for a while and it's something I wanted to complete in the game right now and progress toward while Destiny is in a dry spot with no new content so it's something that I've been working toward um, while Destiny is waiting for some new events or DLC possibly coming in the future this year so That's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.